Well, I'm feeling kind of proud of myself this morning for getting up early. I know, it's amazing. Um, I fish for a living pretty much and I barely get up before sunrise. Well, I didn't make it before sunrise, but I'm up here in Knoxville and I'm meeting up with Josh. Um, people kind of coaxing me to get out, it really helps. So I actually, I only have a few hours cause I'm, I'm actually had to come up to Knoxville for something else uh, at 12. So it's like 7.30, uh, Josh is supposed to show up. We're fishing area. Me and him went out here once before, didn't do too good, but supposedly the bite's starting to turn on. This water's really clear. It's just a, it's a nice little uh, lake up here. So I'm gonna get my kayak unloaded and try to get out in the water. That water's flowing out there a little bit. Hey, <laughs> that's probably what it was. Our bass in there. <laughs> that was funny. Ah. Oh. Get that net, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Get him. I guess they didn't want the crane back, did they? No. What do you got on there? Yeah. I got something I'm wanting to try. I got two hours before it gets dark. I really want to fish this river and it's a nice, it turned out to be a warm day, but the water is muddy. If I could wait a couple days, it'd probably be just right. But I'm here now. So I'm putting my little kayak in. It's got a good flow to it. The muddy water might be good. There's a chance if there's fish in here biting, it could be like really good or I can go out here and waste my time. But that's what I do, I, I do a lot of that. Go out here and waste my time, sometimes it works out. We're gonna start with a crankbait. Water's definitely muddy and flowing good. Let's go hit some calm points. A monster smallmouth. Oh, holy cow! That was a giant. I don't even have my board with me. Look at all the bank over here. Dude. Oh my. This thing is a giant. I got no net, got no board. Got my scale though. Holy cow. Oh, I gotta get over here and get organized. Oh man, it's a nice fish. First, we're gonna get a weight on it. It says three pounds, four ounces. I think this thing probably weighs four ounces. So he's right at, he's gonna be right at three pounds. Oh man, now that is a beautiful Tennessee River smallmouth. Well, it's not the Tennessee River, but just a gorgeous fish. I got this thing right here, let's see. He is gonna be over this thing, so this thing only goes up to 16 inches. He's gonna be about 18 inches, super healthy. This is a really good fish. Dude, best case scenario, three pound smallmouth. Oh man, it doesn't get much better than that. I haven't caught anything all day. I fished two, three spots and then boom, gets paid off with just, oh, a big old girl. Nice. Well, it's another morning on the side of the road here, organizing my tackle, because I didn't go home last night, slept in the Bass Pro parking lot, and it forced me to buy another reel. I hate doing it. Now, I hate buying fishing stuff, but I'll do it if I have to, just for you people. Actually, I've never bought a Johnny Morris reel. Had it on sale, $109. A 2000 size, a six to one 
ratio spinning rod. And uh, I, I said, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of the, I got some 10 pound uh, Cast King four coat, um, their line, 10 pound line. I'm gonna throw it on there because I think we're planning on throwing some crankbaits today. And I'm going fishing with Josh again. Um, yesterday did not go so well. I, had, I did a lot of stuff yesterday, ended up catching like one fish. So I'm gonna hopefully get some fish today. We're going to another spot. Hopefully it's, not, it's gonna do better. We got a big storm coming in. There's a, it's a winter storm, uh, winter advisory for tomorrow. So I have to catch some fish and I uh, gotta get some kind of fishing video to put together from this trip. Let's go. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling it I, I can tell the fish want to eat. Yeah, my new camera picks up the squealing on this thing like really good too. So I'm like, oh man. That one? All right. They're here. Oh, this is big. Josh's already got four fish. I ain't got a single one. This is big, dude. I'm gonna switch oh. to this red. He's got a red red thing on. That's the only thing different. If I catch one right away with this red, then I'm gonna, I'll know right away that's a big difference. There we go. There we go. I was got closer to this wall. Oh, nice. That's a good one. I'll pull it, Josh. It's a big one. It's a big It actually is a good fish. This is a... Woohoo! I got one! Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a 16 or 17. No, you're good. Do your thing. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, rolled up on the spot. Josh is wanting to go here. Good call. Look at that. That is a solid fish. How many of you caught? Four? Five? Uh, He's got, I think, five already. That's my first one. Big old fish. That's a two pounder. On a, I switched to a red crankbait. It's either the color or where we're throwing, but they're definitely really keyed in and eating here. Boom. Let's go. Boom, they're right there. They're like on that rock right there. Back to back cast. Oh, that one came off. Yeah, that one came off. Dude, Josh, they are on the ledge. Like I, I'm almost running it down the bank and got. Dude, yeah, ain't this awesome? <laughs> This is the way fishing should be every day. <laughs> but then you would get tired of it, I guess. But dude, from yesterday to today, smallmouth. Oh. A nice smallmouth. How many fish are in that area? Find out dude, that's a, look oh. Throw it where that bobber is. That's where they're hit. That's where I got hit. Pretty smallmouth right there. Man, look how fat these things are. They're like so in here eating. Yeah, I'd love to get a thump on this thing. That's what's going on. Tell me if they're going to... Another smallmouth this one. I mean, I... Yeah, I... I yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my! Hey, oh, my! Look at that bluegill! Hey! We don't want to... We don't want to catch just one species. This is third yeah, species. Do. This dude thumped it. I thought he was a bad. Maybe I should throw him out there live. <laughs> I got one. I thought about it. I thought about everything. <laughs> I think that, th well, maybe a few, but most of them, there we go. Uh, he's staying down. Maybe a small mouth. He's fighting hard. Oh, uh, no, he's just solid large mouth. There 
That looks like, no, he's the one I caught. He's got another black spot like the one I caught earlier, but he's a different one. Well, I tried to, I moved around, tried a couple different lures, went back to a crankbait, came back in here, and caught another one. <laughs> Man, this was a blast. Like this one was, this was about 20 minutes after we had that big spurt, but just watching Josh catch all those fish, and then, then I, now I'll be able to get three good ones. So <laughs> it's like, this right there, that'd be a limit for a tournament. Hey, that's good. Hooked up another one. Oh, we staying down. My back camera died. And I was I was getting ready to go out. What is this? This may not be a bass. If it is, it's strong. Oh, it's a good largemouth. It's just a good largemouth. I was getting ready to go out, and I was like, "Let me throw one more cast." <laughs> Another one. This thing is chunky. Oh, this might be the biggest fish today. I've been going through different few different crankbaits. Went back to my all-time favorite the baby bass flat a and got another one i think the main thing today was getting that crankbait where those fish are at along the edge of these ledges is where they were hanging close to he's not as big as that first one i caught probably look how solid these fish are though it's, it's so fun to be able to just get some good quality fish my, my camera died so we've been here less than two hours and able to get these and josh had caught more and he went on out man good day just being at the right place. Yesterday, I bet we would have caught the same fish if we were here. But they're here. <laughs> and we were somewhere else. Well, we are going to try to tear ourselves away from this spot. We, uh, I came out here, Josh got another one in there. It's like every 10 minutes, they're definitely reloading in there. But if, if we leave and nobody comes here, we'll be able to come back later. But I'm, we're gonna go find something else. We've been here about two, two and a half hours. What a good two hours. There we go. There we go. Hooked up. Dude, his fish stayed down. Is this a big one? Oh no, it's a white bass. White bass! <laughs> oh man, I thought it was a giant largemouth. Holy cow, look at this thing. White bass! Well, it ain't a largemouth, but I'll take that. I definitely don't mind a good old white bass. Probably a big female with eggs. That's a, that is a, chunk there boom another one yes oh what is wait what is that is that a skip check I hooked it kind of wait what did I get Dude, it's a small mouth. Nice small mouth. Josh! We uh, split up. Josh went that way around this canal. I came this way. I got a white bass. Now a good small mouth. This dude came out flying out of the water. What a day! Dude, it's so nice. Yesterday, I would have given anything to got this in the first four hours I was fishing. Now this is like my sixth or seventh fish. <laughs> Man, it's fun. All right, kind of sticking with that. I got a white bass and a small mouth. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. He just dove down beside you. Yeah, last time I turned around, we was re I, I, I heard a fish jump, looked back, saw him hit the water. Um, I'm gonna. I say we go back over there, and I'm gonna head back towards the ramp, hit those little coves. Sounds good. That way I can get home. 
and I have to spend all day. Yeah. Get ready for that winter. Winter storm. Yeehaw. The Johnny Morris got fish. So I do like that reel. I'm gonna use it more. I'm trying to evolve to a little bit better quality things. And you know, and that's the sacrifices us YouTubers make. We go out and buy stuff just for you to view it. Now, actually, I mean, I buy a lot of things because it, it is a tool that, that we use, but I want to know more about them. But anyways, fishing was fun today. This guy probably caught twice as many fish than me. It was a blast. But uh, this, blast. we, yeah, go check out his channel if you want to see a lot of fish caught. But this is one of those days you get out there and you're just like, yes, thank you. Fish four hours, catch a bunch of fish and go home. And that's, yeah. uh, that's what I like doing. All right, I'm going to take two on this. <laughs> I did, the, I was trying to do the intro and this guy pulled up in his loud diesel, talked to us about 20 minutes. The fishing was great. Thanks for Josh. Uh, me and him fished yesterday and he caught some fish. I caught nothing yesterday. And then I got that one fish. Today, we just went boom, got right on him. He still caught way more than me. Fun day though. I didn't, I wasn't even that jealous. Not, not that much because I was still, I was catching fish. You fish and you go out. Um, we, we go all over the time fishing and just have a hard time making a video or having, struggling. And then you fish for a day like this, you show up, boom, catch fish. And it's just like, this is what's fun about fishing. And it doesn't happen every time, that's for sure. And more often than not, it's a, it's a tough day, but we got off the water right before this wind hit. Perfect day it's out so there. so windy. Oh yeah, now it's, it's super just, windy. God. It was so calm. It was just like the perfect day. I'm glad I stayed. I almost went home last night. I stayed overnight, got some fishing done. Uh, that new Johnny Morris reel did great. Uh, I plan to try it out some more and use it more. But um, yeah, we'll wrap it up. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you don't know who Josh is, you've probably seen him a lot bunch, but yeah, just make sure you check out his video from the day. He caught a ton of fish and all in like in the same area. It was, it was really cool. So, so. much fun. So yeah. Much fun. Thanks for watching. Woo, I lose my hat. <laughs> oh yeah, so it's blowing in a storm. So another reason I'm glad we got the fish today, it's supposed to drop down to 17 tomorrow. So uh, yeah, it's like short sleeved, back down to freezing, but then it'll be back to 60s and 70s in a couple days. So Tennessee weather. Yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching. This, this thing turns good. This thing targets way too sharp. That's how this hobie is. Ah, Thank God this we're gonna wreck! Thank God the hobie is. <laughs> I know. I'll, I, if I'm not paying attention, it just like turns on a dime. Like, oh. Oh, those, those mountains look so good. That's why I love this lake because we're right here at the mountains, dude. You don't get to see that on a lot of these other ones.